Jimmy L. Townsend, you do not look like what you've been through. Now, you've served over 20 years. 27. 27 years in prison. You were getting... 28, really, if you, if you count the little year I did in the state when I was really coming up in the game. Because you were originally given, like, a life sentence. Without the possibility of parole. Now, you've been out for about, what, four or five years? Six years. Well, six, six years, years? In, in January. Just in case the viewers aren't familiar, you are, you have been uh, working on a book uh, for quite some time. It's called Snakes in the Garden. Uh, the reason I picked that took the book off the shelf was really because of Steve Harvey. But for Steve Harvey made a link. Somebody sent, I told you they sent me a link. Sent you a link. And in that link, we never did finish that. In that link, he was saying that he was talking about Jason when Jason was about 15 years old. Jason was kind of rebellious, my son Jason. He told Steve Harvey one day, you're not my father. Jimmy Towns is my father, you know, like that. So I guess it kind of pissed me. This Steve Harvey with the interview talking. And so uh, when Jason told him that, it kind of pissed him off. And he, t he told Jason, I love your mama, so I got to love you. Now, where's that, where that punk ass, you know, dad of yours? So I don't know if it was from uh, insecurity or, or, or what. Could have been, I you think you a multi-millionaire. Mm -hmm. I ain't nobody, you, you ain't got to worry about me. So this man has never been in the same room with you. Period. That's what he but told But called you a punk ass. Yeah, that's what he told Jason. I mean, you do look better than him. Huh? I think so too. <laughs> and you know, I'm going to be fun, fun funny. Yeah. I remember when Marge and I was together. Uh -huh. She used to hate. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to tell it all. I'm going to tell mm -hmm. it all, y'all. Mm. She, she said, she, and, and it was fact, like, she used to check dudes with big lips. She was called soup kill coolers. Before she married Steve Harvey, they was dating. Because, you know, be mindful of we all this time, we talking. Even while she was dating, I could call any time, day or night. Me and Laura's daddy talked, and I thanked him for looking out for the family. We had that kind of rapport, you know, I called him and I thanked him for, you know, and like I said, for 20 years, Marjorie brought the kids to visit me. As a friend, we just friends. Now, she done gone over her life, you know, dating and whatever she doing. And I'm going over my life trying to, you know, fight and get out of prison. So with that type of thing, so. But when she, three days, I talked to her to show you how close we were. Okay. Three days before she got married to Steve Harvey, we talked. And she told me, she said, Jimmy, she said, uh, what she said? Jimmy, you know what, Steve, he's, he's so much like my dad, you know? And when she said that, I said, like your dad? Mm. Said, yeah, you are like him, Jimmy, because he's just like, you know, my dad. And when she said that, I said, because I knew how her dad was. He was a real deal, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? From husband to parent. And I said, man, I said, oh, you got a wonder that you be like your dad. She BS me on that. <laughs> I yeah, wasn't ready. When I come to find out. I wasn't ready. Yeah, man. Yeah. She, she, I wrote them, that's another thing. I wrote, I wrote Marjorie and Steve Harvey a letter before they got married. Okay. And was thanking him for looking out for my kids. No, I, I wrote the letter afterwards, come to think of it. 